Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today we have got a club edit video and this is going to be me going through my Sensi club, showing you what I have in there and also doing some additions. I have already taken out a few bars that I didn't want anymore and I did that before my club shipped earlier this month. I've also already taken out all of the spring summer bars that are returning. So all I'm going to be doing in this video is adding the fall winter bars that I want to club for the season because there is no guarantee in Scentsyland whether a bar that you love is going to come back in the next catalog. So that is where Scentsy Club comes in handy. It has an always get my bar perk where any bars that you put in there, once they go away, you keep getting them even if they get retired. So that is what I'm going to be doing today is using the always get my bar perk to make sure I get all of my fall winter favorites forever and ever. So I am going to go through a little bit of a club how to and what is club for newer viewers or people who are not that familiar with Scentsy Club. If you already know all about Scentsy Club and you don't need to watch that part, just skip ahead a few minutes. When you see the list of my bars in my club, you can probably stop scrolling and we'll we'll get to it there. We'll catch up with you then. But if you do want more information about what club is exactly, then stay tuned for the next couple minutes. So club is, if you don't already have a club, you'll go to the Scentsy tab. You'll go to this tab here, Scentsy Club and it will bring you to the information page. You can start a club from this page, learn more about club perks, and all of that good stuff. So the website I'm on here is the Canadian website because I'm located in Canada. If you're an American customer, you can still shop my site no problem. You'll just change your flag to US, and then your pricing will all be in US dollars as well. But for the purposes of this video, just note that all pricing is in Canadian dollars because I'm in Canada, so my club is in Canadian dollars. So here we have the club perks. The first one is always get my bar. I already talked about that. So that is where any bars that you put in there that are either limited time offer or that are just retiring for the season, if you put them in there, you're always gonna get them even if they don't come back next year. You also get a 10% discount on all club orders over $40 Canadian or $30 US. And then at the $79 Canadian mark or $60 US, you get an additional half off item. Now that half off item is really handy because you can use that even towards higher value items like the large washer whiff tubs, like laundry items, like the whiff box, and even the Scentsy Club bricks. So a Scentsy Club also offers really, really large bars called bricks um, in certain sends and you can get those half off as well with a order over 79 Canadian or $60 US. Um, if you're not a consultant, you can actually get points through Scentsy Club as well to use towards your website orders. So the points accumulate, I think it's a dollar per point or something like that. You accumulate points on every dollar you spend in club and you can use those points for discounts off of your regular website orders. That is not a perk for consultants because we already get commission back on our orders so we don't get that perk. There is a customizable shipping schedule. So Sensi Club comes in three different frequencies. You can choose one or all of the above. There is monthly, bi-monthly, so every second month, or quarterly, so four times a year. So included in Sensi Club is a once per year skip. Now the once per year skip lets you skip your club once a year without losing your always get my bar perk. So if you skip your club like three or four times in a year, you can do that, but it just means that you will lose any bars that are retired. So any of your bars that are no longer available, you can skip once a year, but if you skip it more than once a year, you do lose those retired bars. If you're only using club as an empty vessel to just get discounts on your orders, that is absolutely an option. And for a lot of customers, that is what they use it for because you can change the items in your club every single shipment if you want to. There's no commitment to these items. The only thing to keep in mind is if an item is, if a bar or a scent is retired, the only way to get that is through always get my bar. But aside from that, if you want to just use it as an empty vessel to put your items that you want and get the discount and the half off item, you can totally do that. I use my club mostly as a always get my bar <laughs> little storage area. So for me, I have mostly just bars in here. So at this point, we're going to just go and see my club here. Now, the other thing I wanted to just show you before we get started is if you go to your login area here, if you have a club subscription, if you go here to subscriber exclusive products, they've actually just updated this section. 
So we have some cute little buddies and we have a few new items in here. So these are items that you can only get if you're a club subscriber. These are not items to add to your club. These are items that you can order through the website as a perk because you're a club subscriber. So we have new here, we have Boris the Yeti Sensi Buddy, Calypso the Unicorn. This one is super cute, my daughter has that one, she loves it. We have Polar the Penguin and Shushu the Panda. Those are our new buddies in this section, just today as far as I'm aware. We also have some Sensi Soaks. This is the only place now to get Sensi Soaks because it has been retired. Winter Winterberry Apple Tea is the best Sensi Soak I've come across. I love that one. And then we have Luna as well. Also in this section, we have Scentsy Clean Laundry Liquid and Washer Whips. This is the only place to get that scent in the laundry items. We have a purple edition of the Scentsy Go. And we have the Scentsy Is You Scentsy Brick. This was an event exclusive brick from Scentsy Family Reunion a couple years ago. I do have that brick. It has glitter on top, which makes it kind of extra festive. It is a, I would describe it as like a fresh floral scent with a couple fruity notes in it, but it's mostly a fresh floral. So if you're into that type of scent, it is very summery, very spring appropriate. So there's that. Next, we're gonna go to my club. Okay, you're a Scentsy Club. Okay, I've just zoomed in a bit because they've uh, changed the format of this page so that now my like physical address is literally on the side here. So I've just made it a bit bigger so that that's not visible to the entire internet. My Scentsy community, I love, you're okay with my address, but you never know, the internet's a crazy place. Okay, so Strawberry Swirl is a kind of summery strawberry bar. I melt a lot of that one in the summer. It's kind of a strawberry milkshake type scent. Candy Crave is a kind of body care cotton candy scent. We use a lot of that in my daughter's room. Aladdin Three Wishes. This is a very saturated, sweet, blue raspberry cotton candy type scent. Very strong, we like that one a lot. It does well in the open layout. It's also very similar to Berry Bright. So part of me is thinking this one I may kick before my next shipment just because it is a licensed bar. So it's gonna be a little bit more expensive and Berry Bright is pretty similar. So I may kick that one at some point, but for now it's gonna stay. Spiced Eggnog, I really like the holiday scent. It, like I'm not married to this scent. I like it, but if we had a different eggnog scent, I could, I could be persuaded to switch it out. So for now, that's the only eggnog scent we have, so I'm, I'm keeping it. Huckleberry Sage is a really pretty sweet, kind of fresh, soothing scent for the bedroom in the springtime. I like this one a lot, and so does my friend Narina, so I'm going to keep this in my club for her and I. Sugar, this one is like lemon drops and cotton candy. It's kind of a body care pink sugar aqualina dupe. Um, it's really, really nice, and I actually kicked out Pink Haze in favor of Sugar. So I'm not going to kick Sugar out at all, because I already got rid of one bar in favor of Sugar. So that one stays. Banana Nut Bread is kind of a classic Scentsy popular bar. It's a really good one, especially once it's warmed. Um, that one is going to stick around. That's a good one. Simply Vanilla. This one I might kick before my next shipment as well. The reason is we have Very Vanilla coming to the Spring Summer Catalog here shortly, and that one, I need to let it age a bit and see if it gets as strong as Simply Vanilla does. Neither one of those vanilla scents is going to be a powerhouse, but Simply Vanilla can actually carry a whole bedroom quite nicely once it's aged for a few months. And if Very Vanilla is the same, as far as getting stronger with time, I am going to kick out Simply Vanilla, I think, because I think I slightly prefer the scent profile of Very Vanilla. So that will be a regular catalog bar, and so if that one does age as well as I think it will, I will kick out Simply Vanilla and just use Very Vanilla from the catalog. Mandarin Moon is a wonderful orange spice scent. That one is not going anywhere. Bora Bora Blossom. There are very few summer florals that I enjoy, and this is one of them. I love this one. And because there are so few summer florals that I enjoy, this one is special, and so it is staying in my club. Oats and Honey. This one is a nice kind of all-purpose bakery bar. Good as a mixer, good on its own. I'm gonna keep that. Almond Croissant is a classic, I'll be keeping that. Apple Butter Frosting. If anything, I wish I could actually get more of this, but I can't. Um, the little circle at the top left of the icon there with the little arrows around it, 
means that that bar is not currently available. And because it's not currently available, if I take it out of my club, I can't add it back in. And I also can't increase the quantity of bars. So even if I want to increase it, I can't because it's not currently available. Cutie Pie Cupcake is probably one of my favorite summer bakeries that we've had. It is a nice kind of sweet orange cupcake type scent. Really enjoy that one. I'm going to keep that because I, it's actually my preferred summer bakery scent. Lemon Coconut Chiffon. This is a pretty lemon bakery scent and this is beautiful for spring. I like melting it in the spring months. This one I have a few bars of and I only melt like one bar a year of it. So I'm considering kicking it. But before I do that, I want to consult with my friend Sara in New Zealand. If she's still loving this one, I'm going to keep it because I'll keep it for her. And I also do like warming about a bar a year of it. So next we have Caramel Chestnut. This was a brick a couple seasons ago at the holidays. Love this one. This is going to be a forever keeper for me. This one is a lovely woodsy warm caramel caramel scent. Maraschino Sugar Cookie is one of my husband's favorites and I love this one as well for the holidays. It's a nice sugar cookie cherry scent. It's wonderful. Gingerbread Buttercream. This one is a beautiful buttercream scent with a nice gingerbread note. It is a poor, 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 poor performer. It just is not good. It doesn't throw. It doesn't last. It's a bad performer, just straight up. Why is it in my club then? <laughs> because I love gingerbread scents and we don't have any other ones. I will happily give this bar up when we get a different gingerbread scent, but until then I'm going to keep it around because it does scratch the gingerbread itch when we need that. So I will happily get rid of that when we have a new gingerbread, and I'm hoping maybe this, this coming holiday season we'll get a new gingerbread. St. Knickerdoodle, this is a beautiful apple cinnamon spice sugar type scent. Really, really nice and soft. It's beautiful. Love that one forever staying. Crumb Top is nice. This one is, again, kind of a nice mixer or by itself. It is not a long-lasting bar. It's very lovely, but only for an evening or so. It's not a long-lasting one. So performance-wise, this one could be at risk one day, but for now I'll keep it. Hazelnut Latte, I actually wish I could increase the quantity because three bars a year, because I do skip one shipment, isn't enough. I love this one. Be Merry. This is one of those ones that I threw in my club in the, when would it have been? Around this time a year or two ago. And I thought for sure it would be back because Be Merry was a very popular send. It was one I loved at Christmas time. And then it didn't come back. So I was lucky I had it in my club because now I still get it. So this is one that I'm not taking out. Love Be Merry. And I'm glad I had it in my club before it got discontinued because if I had waited, I wouldn't have been able to get it anymore. Bright Cider Life was another one just like that. I thought for sure this would come back the following season, and it did not make it, so I'm glad I had it in my club. Graham Cracker Crunch, same thing. This one is like a peanut butter graham cracker scent. It's wonderful on its own or as a mixer. And again, I thought for sure it would be safe, and Scentsy did not bring it back. So if you have favorites, this is these three bars here are lessons to club the ones you love, because otherwise you just won't have them. Hug in a Mug is another one. This is chocolate cookie dough and hazelnut, and it's a lovely milk chocolate type scent that they just took out of the catalog one year. But luckily I had it clubbed. Tinselberry, this one is like cinnamon strawberry. I can't remember what else, maybe raspberry, I can't remember. It's a lovely kind of festive, sweet, fun holiday scent. Very unique. I think it only lasted a season or two in the catalog, but I like that one. Pink Sunshine. This one I may kick out of my club at some point. I really like it. It is a kind of cashmere rose milk. And I think apple or pear are in there as well. It's a sweet, crisp, cuddly, cozy flower type scent, rose type scent. Without being powdery or too headachey or too floral. It's very beautiful. My issue with this one is I only melt one bar a year of it. And I'm receiving three bars a year of it. So I don't know what to do with that one. I really like it and it will probably never ever come back because it was a limited time offer bar so it's probably never going to come back and bring back my bar and I do really like it and I don't know how popular it was so if I kick it I know I'll probably never get it again so for now I'm going to keep it. Churro churro this one is like a nice deep fried cinnamon sugar stick type scent it's lovely keeping that. Happy Birthday is a wonderful bar. Again, I would probably increase this if I could because I give this one away as gifts all the time for birthdays as well. 
Hemingway is a wonderful fall scent. It's got apple and woodsy type notes. It's beautiful. My Wish has been in my club since I first joined Scentsy. This one is Marshmallow, Fig, and Violet, and it's beautiful. It is such an unusual scent. It's got, like, this sweet, fluffy marshmallow note with this very nice, like, earthy... Without being too earthy. It's just kind of like a nice, grounded, relaxed type scent, and I love it. Ocean Air and Coconut Water. This one was a summer collection bar last year, and I kind of thought this one might make the catalog, but it did not. And this one actually became a very good performer as well after sitting for a bit. Some people found it quite light in their homes, but after sitting for a while, this one is strong. This one's like downright strong in my home now. So I love Ocean Air and Coconut Water. It's very unique. There's nothing else really like it. That one is going to stick around for me. There are very few fresh category scents that I can really say I love, and this is one of them. So that one's going to stick around. White Sands, also really beautiful. This is kind of a... How would you describe this? I think it, I think it has like coconut milk, rice rice or rice milk coconut rice milk and maybe jasmine i think are possibly the notes on that one um it's beautiful either way it is a creamy lightly floral sophisticated elegant summery type scent and i love it white oat is apple mint and just a little tiny bit of evergreen it is beautiful it's a very nice cool bedroom type scent love that one blue agave and melon this one is coming back i'm gonna get rid of that so yes, it's going to say, are you sure you want to remove this? Um, if you remove it, you can't put it back in because it's not currently available. It is going to be available again, though, on March 1st. So I'm going to remove this item. There we go. Pink rhubarb sugar I threw in my club last fall and it did not come back. So that's going to stay here. Same with star apple and freesia. That one I threw in there because I loved it and it didn't come back. So glad I kept it. Then I clubbed like most of the Harvest Collection. <laughs> this is Cashmere Leaves. I clubbed two bars, which I usually don't do. But again, my friend Sara in New Zealand that I swap with sometimes, she really liked this one too. So I've clubbed two. And I know I'm going to melt a lot of this as well. So two was a good idea, I think. Frosted Cinnamon Roll. I am very, very... I think it's very likely we're going to see this one in the catalog next fall winter. It was extremely popular. It would be a great catalog addition. Um, but I did club it because... I loved it, and there's no guarantee by any means that it will make the catalog, but I kind of think it might. White Pumpkin and Driftwood, this was a beautiful, very unique for Sensi type of kind of pumpkin woodsy, smoky, slightly masculine type scent. It was lovely, and I loved this one mixed with Forever Fall. So Forever Fall was a brown sugar kind of squashy pumpkin scent. It was a bit much for me on its own, but mixed like one-to-one -one with White Pumpkin and Driftwood was wonderful. So I clubbed two of these bars just to get a stockpile to to mix with. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to keep these bars forever, at least not the two quantity, but for now, yes. Frightfully Delightful, I suspect we'll see back next fall. This was its first season with Scentsy and it was very popular. So I would actually be surprised if they don't bring this back next year. This was a like peach, pumpkin, brown sugar, sweet goodness one. It was very, very strong as well. Rum Pum Plum was part of the holiday collection. It was a nice jammy plum type scent. Really, really nice. I would melt this all year round. Vanilla Barnwood is another year round warm for me. It was a cozy kind of cashmere, fresh air, sweet vanilla type scent. It was wonderful. Perfect for bedrooms. I love that one. Forever Flannel. This one I think I'll melt year round as well. This one and Holly Jolly Cider were holiday bricks this year. Now, they were never offered in the small bars, because they were only offered in bricks. But anytime Sensi offers a brick, you can, if you don't want a whole brick of it and you just want a small, regular sized bar, you can add it to a Sensi club and they will not send you the brick. They will send you a regular size Sensi bar of it. So what I did was I put a, I put Forever Flannel and Holly Jolly Cider in my club so that once my bricks are gone, I can just get regular sized bars of these scents going forward. So Forever Flannel is a nice kind of bedroom scent. It's kind of got a cocoa milk, coconut milk tone to it. It's very cozy. It's lovely. Holly Jolly Cider. I can't remember the notes. I think it was cinnamon, apple cider, and I can't remember. I think evergreen. It was the like one of those classic holiday type scents. Very like homey, very inviting. Really loved that one. And it kind of reminds me of like the same place in my collection as like Christmas Cottage, Be Merry, those types of scents. It doesn't smell like those two scents, but it's the same kind of mood. So I love that one. Nightmare Before Christmas. 
This one is a licensed bar, but it's one I'm keeping in my club. This one is just apple cinnamon, like green apple and cinnamon. It's got some tartness to it because it's green apple. The cinnamon here is well balanced. I love this one. So that one's staying. Willy Wonka fizzy lifting drink. This one smells like grape and orange crush mixed, and I love it. It's syrupy sweet and super fun for summertime. Then we have caramel praline cake. This one was a holiday uh, sense of the season bar. This one is kind of like a slightly nutty like cake scent. It's wonderful. I love bakery, and that was a good one, so we're keeping that. Homestead Holiday was also in Sense of the Season. Was it Sense of the Season this year? I think so. Um, I had this in my club before, too. This used to be actually a, a catalog bar, and it has, what does it have? Cinnamon, like spiced orange, I think, or orange peel, one of the two, and maybe evergreen or balsam. It's wonderful, whatever it is. It's woodsy. It's got some orange to it. It's like the most traditional, spicy holiday scent. I love that one. Orange spice and everything nice. This one probably will not stay forever in my club. This was a very lovely, gently spiced, very juicy orange scent. As far as orange spice scents go, this one was much more orange than spice, and I liked that about it. I also like mixing with this too, so I'll get a couple bars of this, and then I'll probably boot it at some point, but for now I really like that one. Sleigh Ride. This was part of the holiday collection, and this was wonderful. This is another one that was very, very popular, and I actually wouldn't be surprised if we see this in the catalog next year, because it was very popular. Uh, this was like a fresh air, fresh air and tree scent, but it wasn't like a traditional tree scent. It was sweet and fresh and lovely and wonderful. I actually grabbed two of that one, because we melted that on Christmas Day last year and just loved it. Toasted apple butter was a recent bring back my bar. That's a nice spiced apple type scent. I love those types of scents, the spicy apple type scents. Strawberry Sweetie. This one was a nice kind of, it, it was also a bring back my bar. This was a sweet strawberry scent. And again, I don't know if I'll keep this forever in my club. We do tend to get a lot of strawberry scents with Scentsy and they are kind of all similar enough. We have sugared strawberry in the spring summer catalog and that's a wonderful scent. We also have a couple other ones. We have sweet berry coming to the catalog, which is a nice saturated strawberry as well. And then we have for the Easter collection, we have strawberry bliss and that one's also really, really good. So I think, I think I'm probably gonna kick strawberry sweetie before my next shipment. So that one's probably gonna go very soon. Frosted ginger cookie was a bring back my bar last round. This was my favorite of the bunch. I loved it. It was a strong, fresh, zingy ginger cookie scent. I have two bars in my club. I may eventually reduce it to one, but I'm keeping it at two for now. Cranberry mango. This was a very unique scent. Um, cranberry and mango. It was lovely. Again, is it going to stay in my club forever? I don't know, but I really liked it, so I want some more of it. Blood Orange Spice was one of those scents that I clubbed because it wasn't well received. A lot of people did not like this one. I get like a bubblegum spicy potpourri scent from this. It's very unusual. I can see why some people didn't like this one. Some people described it as sharp. I didn't really get a sharpness from it. I just really like this one. It's very nostalgic and it's just one of those ones that I like to warm. When I don't know what, what, when I don't know what to warm, this is one I might reach for. So that was a good one. I'm gonna keep that one. Buzz Lightyear to Infinity and Beyond. This one is kind of a sweet, clean scent, kind of verging on laundry without being into full laundry territory. It just smells like a nice clean room is what it smells like with some fruity tones. It's really pretty. And is that going to stay in my club forever? Probably not because it is licensed and so it is going to cost more. Um, I will probably kick it at some point for that reason, but I do want another bar or two of this before I do that. Everything Nice was again to bring back my bar. <clears throat> this one will have to compete at some point with Forever Fall. Um, forever Fall and Everything Nice are both wonderful bars. I can't justify having both in my club so at some point, I'm going to have to kick one of those two. I haven't decided which yet. But I'll have until the end of summer to decide, because I am skipping my May shipment. So here I have my half-off item. And this is the one that just shipped. So my half-off item, I chose a pink cotton washer whip tub. And they're giving me a warning here that it's going to be removed March 1st. Because this item is actually retiring in laundry. So pink cotton is leaving our laundry section. So... I wanted another tub of the washer whiffs because I love that scent. Um, but for next one, I will have to select a different product because that one is retiring. 
One thing I don't typically purchase at full price, but this time I did, is cotton cleanups. I saw that they had the original size in, in the club orders, so I picked up three bags. Because I think for me personally, I think I'm going to prefer the old size to the new size. So I decided to grab three bags of those <clears throat> just before they go away. Next up here, we have creme de menthe. This one is a Mardi Gras bar. And again, is it going to stay in my club forever? Probably not. But I do want another bar or two of it. And I will probably kick it after a couple shipments. Mint to be merry. This one's going to be a forever club bar. This one I love. It is like the most lovely, soft, buttermint cookie type scent. It's so pretty. Reminds me a bit of marshmallow mint, which I also really love. So that one's a forever clubber. Dream Big Princess. This one is one that was a limited time offer bar. My daughter really loves this one, so I've got that clubbed for her. And then King Cake was a Mardi Gras collection bar. And this is a nice kind of just... Would you say there's spice in there? I don't know. There's like the most gentle cinnamon sugar sprinkle, maybe. It's so, so nice. It's such a nice saturated cake scent. Some people find it a bit buttery. I can kind of detect some butter, but I don't really get the popcorn note that some people do. But some people do find it quite popcorn-y. Okay. Now we're going to go into add more items. And here is where you can go through and add what you want to add. So we are going to add Scentsy Wax Bars. And we're going to go through the ones that are currently available. And I'm going to let you know what I think may or may not come back next year. What is staying around in the catalog so we don't need to club it. And what I'm actually going to club. So Christmas Cottage is a classic Scentsy scent. I would be shocked if that didn't come back next year. But I am clubbing it anyways because this one is just... It's not Christmas without Christmas Cottage in my house. So I'm clubbing that one. Even though I'm quite sure it's coming back. Weathered Leather is staying through the spring and summer. And I personally don't care for that bar at all. So that's going to be a, a no for me. But it's also staying. So if you do love that bar... No worries, it's sticking around. Welcome Home and Sunkissed Citrus also sticking around into the spring and summer. Snowberry is nice. I don't melt enough of it to club it. Um, if you do like Snowberry a lot, though, I would club it because I don't think it's going to come back next year. They had retired that a couple years ago and then brought it back kind of randomly for this catalog. Um, and I don't know. Sometimes when they do those kind of random ads, they don't stick around more than one season. So definitely club that one if you like that. Silver Bells, I don't know. I don't have a strong opinion either way on whether this will come back. I love it. I hope it does come back. And it's a favorite of mine, so it's going to be in my club. Pumpkin Roll, I'm clubbing too. It's another favorite of mine. I think this will be back next year, but I'm clubbing it anyways. Newborn Nursery and Mocha Doodle and Luna and Just Breathe and French Lavender are all returning to the Spring Summer Catalog, so there's no need to club any of those. Cinnamon Vanilla is also returning to the to the Spring Summer Catalog, so no need to club that. Clove and Cinnamon. I always worry about this one and Cinnamon Bear. I feel like Cinnamon Bear does quite well. Um, and Clove and Cinnamon, I'm not sure. So I'm not going to club it because I wouldn't be heartbroken if it didn't come back. But if you do love that one or that one is one you melt a lot, maybe club that one. Um, Clean Breeze is coming back for the spring summer there is cinnamon bear i'm not going to club that either but again if you love that one that one and clove and cinnamon i always worry about black raspberry vanilla blueberry cheesecake and baked apple pie are all sticking around through the spring summer catalog and those are all best sellers so no worries there autumn sunset this one i do worry about every season every season i think this one, it's going to be its last this one is kind of a pumpkin fall leaves I think there's apple in the notes, but I don't detect any apple in that one. It's kind of a pumpkin-y, clovey, spicy fall bar. Very traditional fall. And I do worry about that one. If you love that one, club it. I'm not going to club it, but I, I did pick up an extra bar. Then we have the Mardi Gras collection here. And I've already clubbed what I need to from there. Follow the Rainbow is the uh, St. Patrick's Day one. It's kind of a classic scentsy, fruity scent. It's not one I need more of. Shamrock Splash is a great bar. It's a fantastic performer. That one, I may be tempted to club. If you like Shamrock Splash, I would club it because I don't know that we're going to see it again. And it's a very, very good bar. Like, very, very good. But I think I'll just pick up another couple bars of that. 
absolutely perfect, the Aristocats bar. This one, I haven't smelled it yet. It's got cherry blossom, vanilla, and I think fresh spring air. Um, I have ordered this one. I haven't smelled it yet, so I'm not going to club it right now. Candy Orchard is a nice, sweet kind of candy scent. It's the scent of the month um, for February. I'm not going to club it. I do have a few bars of this one. It's very, very nice. <clears throat> Simply the Zest was a nice zingy citrus scent. I liked it. I don't need more. We have quite a few citrus scents that kind of come and go. I Pick You from the Valentine's Collection as well. This one was really nice. I would possibly club this one and I would definitely purchase more except my husband didn't care for that one and I would really only warm it in our bedroom it's kind of a nice sweet floral it reminds me a bit of love story perfectly cute is a fun fruity floral that one's really nice but again not one I need more of um, and that is a limited time offer one happiest cruise that ever sailed is a licensed limited time bar that one is kind of a warm weather aquatic fruity type scent 101 Dalmatians Top Dog. I haven't smelled that one. I've heard it's comparable to the Wally Bar. So if you like those kind of green, apple-y type scents, that might be one to try. Meet at the Mistletoe. That was a December scent of the month. If you love that one, club it, because we probably won't see it again. Um, it was a nice kind of green, I think, berry and sugar type scent. One of those kind of sugary, sweet green notes. It was, it was quite nice. Meant to be Merry. This is probably the last month to get this. It will likely retire at the end of February. And again, that one's like a buttermint cookie scent. It's really nice. Dream Big Princess. This one has like bubblegum. What else is in there? Mandarin. I can't remember all of the notes. It has quite a few notes, but overall it's kind of a sweet, fruity, slightly body care bubblegum scent. Very little kid friendly. Red Current Wreath. This was a new release this fall winter. This is a... To my nose, it smells almost like a um, like sandalwood berry type scent. It's really lovely. Do I want to club it though? I don't know. I think it will come back next year. I would be shocked if it doesn't. I'm going to club it and I might take it out. We'll see. Polo and Cinnamon. Lovely. Loved it. And I'm clubbing that. That was a beautiful scent. And I could see myself warming that throughout the spring and summer as well. Midnight Mahogany. I'm not sure how well this one did this season. I like it, and I especially like it mixed with Palo Santo and cinnamon. I'm not going to club it, though, because I picked up a bar to mix with, so I have a bar in my stash, and it will likely be back next year, although this season, typically the 10 new scents all come back. This season, we have two that didn't, so maybe they are getting, maybe they're cracking down on the, the new scents that aren't doing well. So Midnight Mahogany, I'm not sure. That one... I'm not 100% sure we'll come back, but if it doesn't, I'll be fine. Make Me Snickerdoodle. This one is okay. This is a middle-of-the-road, average, kind of cookie bakery type scent. This one does not excite me. It is fine. I would not cry if it didn't come back. Um, I like it just fine, but I don't, I don't need to club it. And I think it will come back next year. I'd be surprised if it didn't. Golden Garland. This, again, was kind of an underrated one. I don't know if this will be back. I feel like a lot of people just kind of passed this one up. It was very nice, though. I'm not going to club it because I don't I don't need to club it, but it was, it was very, very nice, and I hope it does come back. Frosty Air I'm clubbing, and the reason is because this is kind of a clean laundry scent, and we get a lot of clean laundry scents. We have a lot of clean laundry scents, but I don't love clean laundry scents usually, and I love Frosty Air. So because I am so picky about my laundry scents, and this is one I love, I'm going to club it, even though I'm pretty sure that'll be back next year. Frosted Cedar was one of my favorites of the new releases this year, and I'm clubbing the heck out of that. Fall Feelin' I think did fairly well with most people. This is kind of a love it or hate it bar. I don't personally care for that one. It's a little bit sharp and spicy to my nose, but I think it did well enough to come back next year. I'm not worried about it being discontinued, and I won't club it anyways. Dashing, I loved, and I would club this one, except this is actually carrying forward into the spring-summer catalog this year. So that's kind of nice. It's kind of a nice sweet vanilla, fresh night skies bar. It's kind of a... How would you describe this? Like lightly woody, not even woody, like smooth vanilla, slightly body care. It's very sophisticated and elegant and soft. Cranberry and cardamom was probably the, like the favored... 
I think I think probably the most popular of the 10 new scents this season was Cranberry and Cardamom. I'm going to club it anyways because it's a fantastic performer. I'm sure it will be back next year, but it's a fantastic performer and I would be very sad without it. Candy Cane Buttercream was, I think, new to the catalog this year, but it was a limited time offer the year before last. This one for me is not a very good performer. I prefer personally to just mix Vanilla Bean Buttercream and Perfect Peppermint to get a similar scent that performs a bit better. So I'm not going to club that one. I do think if you love that one, maybe club it. Sometimes those ones that they pull from limited time collections and add to the catalog don't last more than a season or two, but I feel like Candy Cane Buttercream did sell fairly well, so it may, it may come back. Lemon Drizzle Cake is sticking around for the spring and summer, so no need to club it. Cinnamon Pine Cones, I think, was very, very popular this season. It was a very popular scent of the month the year before, and I think it did quite well in the catalog this year as well, so I'm not worried about that one coming back. I think it will. Um, I personally don't care for that one, so I'm not going to club it either way, but I think it will be back. And again, when I say I think it'll be back... I have, like, zero inside knowledge on this. I don't know. Sensi sometimes makes decisions that don't we don't understand. We don't have the numbers or the sales numbers in front of us. We don't know. So I'm just guessing. But it seemed to me that it did fairly well. So I think it'll be back. The soccer and football bars and the rugby bars, I don't tend to care for these ones myself. These are limited time ones. I'm not going to club any of them. Gimme Candy. This was a scent of the month that they added to the catalog this fall winter. This was one of my favorite scent of the months in a long time, and I'm adding two bars to my club. This one I worry about. I don't know that this one will come back. I think it may not come back, actually. Uh, sometimes, again, when they add those limited time collection bars to the catalog, sometimes they only make it a season. And myself included, I didn't add a bunch of... I didn't melt a bunch of this one this season despite loving it as much as I do, so I am going to club that. Wizarding World is staying through the fall, winter, or the spring, summer catalog. No need to club it. Blackberry Spice. This was a new bar like last, like last fall, winter, not this one that just passed. Um, I would be a little worried about this one. I love this bar. It's a nice kind of woodsy, deep, rich berry scent. Um, very, like, elegant, upscale, modern potpourri. I love it. I didn't melt it this year myself, and I don't know how popular that one is. It's a very lovely scent, but I feel like it gets overlooked a lot, and I I would be worried about Blackberry Spice next year. If that is a favorite for you, I would club it. I am not going to, but it, it is a nice one. Cran Apple Crumble, I worry about this one too. Again, it's kind of on its... It's been around for a couple years. They like to discontinue things after that point sometimes. I'm clubbing it. I love this one. That's a bakery scent. I'll melt like three seasons a year and enjoy the heck out of it. So I'm clubbing it. White Amber and Silk is staying for the spring and summer. No need to club it. Falling Apples. That is like a mahogany and apple type scent. It's a nice strong one. Just not one I need to... I don't need to club that one. Um, I, I don't know whether it will be back or not. I have no strong opinion either way on whether it will be back. Sips of Cider I would worry about. I think if you love Sips of Cider, that would be one to club. I think that could actually go next year. Um, I'm not sure how popular it is. That one and Perfect Day, I would worry about. Sips of Cider is a nice kind of citrusy cider scent. Not one I need to club personally, but if you love that one, I would. Frosted Vanilla, I'm not sure about this one. I like Frosted Vanilla. I'm not going to club it this year. I did club it last year, and I found I just didn't reach for it as much this year. It's one of those scents that when it first came out, I loved it. Melted a lot of it. Really enjoy it. But this year, I just didn't reach for it. I don't know. I've just kind of fallen out of love with it a bit, I think. And I'm not going to club it this year. Perfect Day. Not a favorite of mine. It's a very tart pear scent. Kind of like a pear shampoo with a bit of spice. Um, I don't know. I think if you love that one, I would club that as well. I'm not sure if that'll be back next year. Um, Huckleberry Hideaway. This is one I'd, I personally don't care for at all, um, but there are people who absolutely love this one, and I think it may be back next year. Uh, Velvet Moon, love that one. I'm quite confident that will be back. I'd be very surprised if it wasn't. Do I want to club that one? I do really like it. I don't melt enough of it to club it, I don't think. I'll survive. Black Currant and Plum. This one I'm, 
I'm, yeah, I don't think that's coming back. This one is very underrated. I don't feel like it gets a lot of love. It's been around for a couple years now. I feel like that one might be on the chopping block, and I am clubbing it. I really like that one. White Amber Antique is sticking around all season for the spring. No need to club it. Fluffy Fleece. That one is wonderful in laundry. I love it in laundry. I don't care for it much in wax, and I'm not going to club it. I don't know if it'll be back next year. I have no opinion either way. Scary Good. I don't know. Again, I'm not sure if this will be back next year. I think I think if this is this is one that if you really do love it, I would club it. This was one of my absolute favorite fall scents when it first came out. Loved it. Melted like probably over a dozen bars of it. Love it. It's got kind of smoky butterscotch, cinnamon, vanilla, pumpkin. It's wonderful. Um, I've just, again, fallen out of love with it. There's other fall scents that I like a little bit better now. And I think that's probably the consensus across the board for a lot of people. So if you love Scary Good, I would club it. I'm not sure whether we'll see that back or not. Salted Caramel Toffee, I think we'll see it back. I feel like that one's pretty consistently popular. Um, it's not one I'm going to club. I wouldn't be heartbroken if it didn't come back, but I do think it will be back, and I, I do like that one. Scarlet Sunflower. This one has, like, cranberry and sunflower. It's a very nice early fall bar for, like... August. It's a nice fall, like a nice fall transition scent. When it's still warm where you are, but you're kind of feeling like fall type scents, but it's too hot for spicy stuff. Scarlet Sunflower is a nice one. Um, I don't know. I have no opinion either way on whether that will be back or not. I think it probably will be back. Polar Bear Hug. This one, I don't know. It's been around forever, and it's such a unique classic scentsy scent. It is a wonderful, cuddly, cozy, like blackberry jam. What else is in there? It's kind of got like a body care or like an amber tone to it. Um, yeah, it's it's lovely. Eucalyptus Wreath. That one is extremely popular. I am quite sure that will be back next year. I personally don't care for it, so I'm not clubbing it. Um, but I'm pretty sure it'll be back. And if you do love Eucalyptus Wreath or any of these, if there's a scent that you love, even if it's likely to come back, club it anyways. Because if it doesn't come back, at least you have it. And my club is full of bars that I thought for sure would come back, but they didn't. So it pays to club them. Cashmere and Corduroy, I think, will be back. Um, I'm going to club it anyways because I do really like that one and I would miss it. Disney Totally Mini and Oh Boy and True Love Awaits are all retiring at the end of February. So if you love any of those definitely club them because they are not coming back for sure and they may never come back so if you like those ones definitely club them i am tempted to club true love awaits because my daughter likes that for her room but we already have dream big princess so she's gonna have to pick a princess bar and it's gonna be dream big princess arctic kiss is a wonderful kind of melon and i think like fresh air and melon type scent it's pretty it's not one i think i'll club it's a very good performer I think it's got a good chance of coming back next year. Yeah, I'm going to leave that one. NFL and NHL. These are both limited time licensed bars. Uh, Autumn Road Trip, I think, will be back. That's a pretty popular classic Scentsy Fall scent. Um, I'm not going to club it. I do like it. I melt about a bar a year of it. But I'm not going to club it, and I do think it'll be back. Around the Campfire, I worry about this one every year. Again, it does seem to come back every year. It is a very smoky scent. A lot of people don't like this one. I do like this one aged. And every year I put a bar away to age. And so I've done that again. I've stocked up for next year already. So I'm not going to club it. And I do hope it comes back. Caramel Apple Craze. I think this will be back next year. It seems popular. It's a caramel apple scent. It seems to do well. I think it'll be back and I'm not going to club it. Maple Apple Bourbon. This one again I kind of worry about every year. I personally don't love this one, but I know a lot of people who do love this one. So for those people, I do hope it comes back. It is so unlike anything else I've smelled anywhere else. There's nothing really like this one. So I do hope it does stick around because there's nothing really like it. Um, not my cup of tea, but I, I understand why we have it. And I, I know a lot of people love that one. First day of fall. This one is wonderful. I like to melt this one when I decorate my house for fall. It is kind of a spicy apple fall leaf type scent. Am I going to club it? 
No. As much as I love it, I only warm one bar a year. It's a great performer. I think it will be back next year. But if it isn't, I'll survive. Squeeze the day is sticking around. No need to club it. Mickey Mouse and Friends and Ariel Under the Sea are also leaving the catalog. And probably permanently. So if you like either of those bars, definitely club them because they're definitely not coming back. Happily Ever After, the Cinderella bar is a limited time bar. I don't need to club any of these. 100 Acre Wood, that is sticking around in the catalog. I would club that one if it was retiring. I love that one. It's a nice kind of soft, almost lavender, but there's no lavender in the notes. It's pretty for a bedroom. Winterberry Apple Tea is very popular. It's a nice saturated, like honey, I think cranberry apple tea type scent. It's wonderful. I think it'll be back and I'm not going to club it. Perfect Peppermint is just plain peppermint, and I love it. I use this all the time in the summer for headache days. Um, I'm clubbing that. Cozy Cardigan, I think, is pretty safe. I think it'll be back next year. But again, crazier things have happened. Um, if you do love that one, I would club it. Because there's nothing else really like Cozy Cardigan. It's very unique. It's kind of a cuddly, cozy, soft, rose, cashmere type scent. Apple Cherry Strudel, I am clubbing too. And I should check my stash because for me, Apple Cherry Strudel is like a summer melt, a summer bakery. And it's not a great performer. It's about a medium strength for about eight hours. So it's not bad strength wise, but it is a short lasting bar. And I love it to pieces. So I'm clubbing two of them. I don't know if that'll be back next year. I think if you love it, I would club it because I don't know about that one. Autumn Hearth, I always worry about this one too. It's been around for a million years. It is kind of a dry apple cinnamon type scent. It's a nice fall bar. I'm not going to club it because I do have another bar or two that I stocked up on and I think I'm good. I can't club them all. Johnny Appleseed is a nice classic apple scent. Aloe water and cucumber. Um, that is sticking around through the spring and summer. No need to club it. Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl is a lovely bar, and this one I actually do kind of worry about. I feel like Scentsy might try to pull a fast one on this is honest this fall and get rid of one of our classic pumpkin bars. And either I think Pumpkin Roll or this one might be it, and I don't think it's going to be Pumpkin Roll. I think Pumpkin Roll will stick around, so I kind of worry about Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl, and I'm clubbing it. Apple and Cinnamon Sticks, this is a lovely strong, like apple cedarwood, very woodsy apple cinnamon type scent. It is not your classic apple cinnamon scent that you might picture when you think of apple cinnamon. It's much woodsier. It's a very nice scent. It's not one I'm going to club, though. Blue Grotto is sticking around. Fall Farm Stand Pumpkin. This seems to be a fairly popular bar. I don't know. I think it'll be back. I'm not the hugest fan of it myself anyways, but I think it is popular enough that it'll stick around. Amazon Rain, Clothesline, and Jammy Time are all staying through the spring and summer. Very snowy spruce. I would be surprised if they got rid of this. It's a very classic kind of Christmas tree scent. A lot of people love that one. Not my cup of tea, so I'm not clubbing it. But I think it's fairly safe. Again, though, if you love that one, club it. Cedar Cider, I'm going to club. That one I worry about. It is a lovely, warm cedar scent. And it's a little bit unlike anything else. It's very homey, very comfortable. And I do worry about that one. Vanilla Bean Buttercream is staying. Mystery Man and By the Sea are staying all spring and summer as well. Cider Mill, I think, will be back next year. I would be surprised if they got rid of it. But I said the same thing about Bright Cider Life, so I'm clubbing it. Um, yeah, Cider Mill is a wonderful one. That is a kind of nice, classic fall scent. Okay, what have we got here? So we've added these ones. And I think I'm happy with that. Yes. Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom, and you have to make sure we, that you scroll down to the bottom here and click update subscription, otherwise those changes will not save. And you will be sad because they won't be in your club. Okay, so I'm going to go down to the bottom again and make sure they're there, and they are. So now my club is enormous, and we're going to skip the May shipment so that it doesn't ship. And then the next one should be in... August, May, June, July, August, which means that we will have access to the fall winter catalog 
to look at it and see what is coming back and what isn't. So at that time, I'll be able to go in here and get rid of, hopefully, all of these. Um, but whatever ones don't come back, I'll be able to hang on to and keep getting. So yeah, I, I do think Black Current and Plum is a goner. That one I'm pretty sure about, actually. And the other ones I really hope do come back. The other one I would worry about is Gimme Candy and Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl. Although I could see them pulling a fast one on Cider Mill too. That I could see happening. We'll see. But yeah, that is what I am clubbing. And that is where my club is at now. And yeah, and I know my club is very large, but also keep in mind that I do this as like a side business. So that is part of it. And also I wore more wax than most people. We go through a bar or two a day in my house. So I go through more wax than most folks. If you're just a casual Scentsy customer, you're not going to need this much wax. And so your club is going to be obviously much smaller. But yeah, they do, they do tend to add up quick, especially after a few years of being with Scentsy and having a lot of favorites. But yeah, that is what I've got. Quite a few also here that I'll probably remove before my next shipment, just out of the ones that I have saved already. So yeah, that's my club edit. That is kind of my thoughts on what may or may not come back next season. And again, they're just ideas and just thoughts. I could be very, very, very wrong. <laughs> but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I would love, love to know the pride of your Sensi Club. If you have a Sensi Club, what is the bar that you have in there that you would be the saddest without? Because that is, I think, what a lot of us use Scentsy Club for, is to keep those bars that we love that are no longer available. So what is the shining jewel of your Scentsy Club? For me, what would it be? Banana Nut Bread is up there. I love that one. Mandarin Moon, for sure. Caramel Chestnut. Yeah, you know what? I love all these bars. Oh, Bright Cider Life. It's Bright Cider Life. Straight up. Bright Cider Life is the one that it's probably my top favorite Scentsy bar of all time. And I would be very, very sad if I didn't have it. And I wish I could have double or triple the amount that I do have. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.